banking page of QuickBooks Online. And basically what I did is I went into uh, Chase and I'll just kind of show you what I did. So I went into my Chase bank account and this is literally what I did. This is not sample file, the test file. So I went into my uh, Chase bank account. I went into my credit card, clicked on C activity and went to uh, somewhere a button that says download, uh, download activity. And it gave me a couple of choices. So it says, how do you want to download this? You want to download it in Quicken format. Uh, you want to download it in QuickBooks IIF format, Web Connect format, CSV. So Chase is awesome because it gives you uh, tons of different formats. And re regarding a what bank uh, you're working with, I would say, and I'm going to just show you a different screen similar to this that also shows me all the formats. But I'm saying regardless of what bank you have, if you have access to downloading the QBO file, this is the best approach you can do. Forget about anything else, conversion software, forget it. Best thing you can do is download the QBO file from your bank. Now the caveat is a lot of banks don't offer it past 90 days, 180 days. That's a big issue. Another caveat is some banks just bring in garbage. Like the data that, that's on that spreadsheet or that QBO, it's garbage. Like there's there's vendors are cut off, information is missing. And you may have to edit it. You may have to literally change it uh, and before you bring it back into, into QuickBooks. So, so that's another, that's a, a kind of a challenge. And in, in some banks just offer either the Quicken file or the CSV file, which in those two cases, because you can't import it through bank feeds uh, without it being a QBO file, you are going to need a third party uh, software for that. So just kind of wanted to clarify that and, and, and every bank is different. So, I really you know, can't show you how it looks like in every bank. But um, when you work with the major banks, typically it's not an issue. So what I did afterwards is I clicked on file upload. I clicked on that button that says file upload. I went and looked for my uh, QBO file that I downloaded from the bank. So I searched it uh, somewhere in, the, in, the, in my computer, wherever I saved it, hit open, and then hit next. And then I'll kind of go through the motions to to check and double check uh, you know which account is it related to and then you press uh, next and you uh, bring them in 